today I basically wanted to talk about the promotions. Uh, the fall promotions were extended to March the 31st. So that's really good news. Um, but, but I think sometimes it's easy, especially in the off season to go, what do I do? I mean, it depends where you're living, whether it's an on or off season where I live, it's cold. There's no ice in the lake yet, but we're just about to be. So a lot of guys in my neck of the woods are going, how do we bring in income during the winter? And that varies all over the world based on where you're living. So what we wanted to do today was just look at how we could take advantage of some promotions. Of course, there's several promotions on. We decided we'd focus on two different areas. One was digital cards and two was taking advantage of the ITC package uh, promotion as well. Um, I'm going to finish with the digital card, but start with the ITC because we've got a special guest tonight that's going to be talking to us and I'm going to introduce him. Rod is a long time now instructor an even longer time professional educator in the school systems. He's been actually 27 years teaching there, 21 years teaching with scuba. In addition to being a course director for Naui, he's also a biologist for fish and wildlife. That was his original training. And in the United States, in the Northwest, he happens to be the ITC coordinator. So we thought, well, let's bring in an ITC coordinator and get their spin on things. And we're really looking at this not for US, not for Canada, not for Taiwan. We're not looking for any particular place. This is just um, an idea for everybody all over. You can have this opportunity and perhaps tap into it and make a few extra dollars. So. Without any further ado, Rod, you want to say a few words before we get we get into a question and answer thing? Sure. Hi. I'm happy to be on here. Thanks for inviting me, and I'm excited to uh, talk about the benefits of, of running ITCs and uh, crossovers and how they can build our shops more and more business. Rod, that's uh, Rod. Thanks for uh, you know saying because as we talked a little bit about um, the going into this you know first quarter, you know a lot of the world, not just the United States, you know we're on you know we're searching you know we're searching for ways right now to you know we've been you know presented with hurdle after hurdle, and a lot of times uh, in business we have a tendency to do things the same old same old way, you know we fall into a routine. So I think this is a great opportunity having you on here to kind of break some of the people out of the comfort zones of like teaching the open water courses, teaching the uh, some of the courses that you just we get into that routine of doing and start looking at other ways that we can make we can generate revenue into the store. So that's an, I really appreciate you jumping on here and kind of sharing some techniques with us. And just and like I also said, like Bill and I have said in the past, you know, these now talks are not centered around the ivory tower. You know, it's the membership. These now we talks are about, you know, what's going on around the country and what the members are doing to share ideas, kind of a think tank type thing uh, is what we can look at it as. So thanks for coming on and sharing this. Yeah, I, I agree. You look at last, uh, at the last one, we had our presenter from, uh, from uh, South Africa. Sorry, my mind went blank. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a worldwide thing. So Rod, um, can I start off by asking you a question? And I just started the basics. Um, never mind the promotion. Why would somebody want to become an IT or why would I want to make somebody an IT? Well, it's been my experience over a couple decades of becoming an instructor and interacting with other instructors that, that two things happen um, with time as instructors. One, um, we gain a lot of knowledge and wisdom in what we do. And the other part is if all we're doing is teaching entry level classes, we tend to burn out. Um, and I've seen a lot of really good instructors kind of fade into the sunset um, and not, not take advantage of becoming instructor trainers or course directors and getting involved in creating new membership for NALI. Interesting. Right on. Very, very true. Um, when you're looking at it, like, what's the benefit to me as an instructor or as a affiliate, whether it be a store, club, a professional educator, like, why wouldn't I want to have run a, a course for instructors and have more instructors in my area? What, how can I benefit? Right. Well, there's, there's several points of benefit um, with this. Uh, the, fir the first thing is that we have to keep in mind 
that Nowy's only customer is its members, right? So if we want to build Nowy's influence and have a bigger part of the market share, then we need to bring in more instructors. Um, the other thing that we need to think about is that Nowy instructors are really good at what they do because Nowy has uh, a much higher standard um, to become an instructor, I believe, and, and I've been associated with a few other agencies. We have a higher standard for what our expectation is, and we're actually professional teachers and mentors. Um, by doing this, we, we produce better students, um, not, not one time uh, feather in your cap. I did scuba and that was a bucket list thing, but people that continue to come back, support our shops, support dive clubs, um, and build business. It's, it's, a, it's pretty simple. Um, now we instructors uh, have a lot invested. So to become a member, to be, go through the ranks, to become a member, um, we personally invest a lot of our own time and money. Um, and, and as a result, I think that we become a very valuable asset to the shop that we work through, right? Because, um, you know, we are, we are wearing the, the, the equipment that the shop is selling. We're, we're talking about it with students. Um, so very good marketing piece there. Um, part of the Maui leadership training um, and parts that when, when I run the, the classes is that these new, these new student candidates, instructor candidates are responsible for bringing in new clients to the store. Um, that's, that's part of an under, understanding of becoming an instructor is that um, you're expected to bring in more students, right? So more students, uh, more, more shop customers, uh, pretty, pretty simple. Um, leadership candidates, so, so will drive, I mean, I'm thinking of the last, the ITC we ran here in the Pacific Northwest this summer, we had, we had candidates from California, we had candidates from Idaho, we had candidates from Washington, we had candidates from Oregon. Um, so the, the, the sphere of influence, the, the networking, uh, the connections that you make, um, I think are very important to building your business and driving your business. So your sphere of influence um, definitely increases uh, when, when you run these, when you bring in these candidates. Um, and, and, and honestly, if, if all your shop is doing is running new students and you're not building them up through the ranks, um, it's, it's not that exciting for instructors. So I think that bringing in ITCs uh, to your shop is, is going to drive up enthusiasm and excitement about what we do. I think that's a pretty good um, assessment right there because obviously you know, the key thing that we're trying to avoid, especially you see it in a lot of the southern states because these guys are, you know, constantly churning and grinding. So you do see they get caught up in those teaching up one specific program all the time. I mean, it would be equivalent to, I guess, like, you know, a teacher in a high school who's constantly teaching ninth grade math. You know, so it continually, you know, it's, it's you know, to change up, you have that ability to change up that rhythm so you can constantly keep yourself fresh and energized. And I think that's a super, uh, a super assessment right there. The thing that I want to drive home, and I think you kind of tapped on it already, and I know we had this presentation back earlier on the why now, is that I've spoken to several people, you know, and you always hear the comment, what's now, what's new at now, what's now doing that's new, you know, now he doesn't have anything new coming out. And I totally disagree with that. And the thing that I, and the reason why I disagree with that is because I truly believe from the bottom of my heart that now he has the single greatest product in the world. And it's the ability for the instructors to create their own instructor specified specialties. In addition to that, it gives them their academic freedom to present the course as a true educator. So based on that, I truly believe that now he offers the greatest, pro, has the greatest product in the world. And guys like yourself who are out there taking advantage of it and promoting these ITCs to the next level, we as instructors, it's part of our code, it's part of our ethics in our, in our standards to promote the industry, to promote the organization. You know, it's not just about, 
you know, teaching that open water class and selling them three thousand dollars worth of scuba equipment. It's about creating. Um, it's about creating an adventure, creating a, a journey together for all of our for our, for our for an industry. Yep. Yep. No, I agree, and and I, and I think there's so many opportunities here if we look at the bigger picture. And I mean, again, I'm going to tie this in as we get going to the to the small spot where you can put a couple of dollars in your jeans every month. So. Um, again, people need to pay their professional fees. They need to pay their heat, their hydro, their rent, their gear, their insurance. We have things to pay. So it's a nice way to bring opportunities. Um, before we get too far into there, there's always the, the objections. We've all talked to people and we've all heard, you know, people have the objections, those misconceptions. Well, you know, I don't want to train anybody. Why would I do it? So, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on that, Ron? Well, it's funny when Tom Hemphill and I presented this two years ago at DEMA, um, it, it was met with some, some questions. And, and I would challenge the thought that um, when, you, when you make another instructor that you've created competition for yourself. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. Um, I think that most instructors um, are not necessarily entrepreneurs. They are not waiting to be cut loose to open a new shop. Um, and in fact, I think what they really want and, and the dynamic that I've discovered here in the Pacific Northwest is they wanna be part of a program. Um, so you're creating instructors um, that will in turn feed your business. They will, they will be running classes um, for you. They will be selling equipment for you. Um, so, I, I haven't had or seen that, that problem with create, you know, the create competitions. Um, leadership candidates may become valuable assets for stores and replace instructors that retire or leave. So eventually um, people move, people move on. Um, I've, in the last year, I've lost a couple of really great dive masters uh, that ended up going, going elsewhere. And, and it's important to have um, new and upcoming members in the channel all the time that can replace other people. So you're not left in a lurch, um, you know, dependent on your business, dependent on running these classes and not having enough, enough uh, professional instructors and educators to, to do it. Um, so the, the create competition, I don't, I, I, I don't see that. I don't agree with it. I think if you run your programs correctly. Um, the other, the other argument that I've run across is, well, we don't have anybody, we don't have anybody on staff that, that is an instructor trainer that, or that is a course director. And this is where, and, and this is, this is something I truly believe in that, that, uh, all of us NAWI members are all on the same team and we, we need to work. We need to, we need to, we are not, I am not in competition with the other NAWI members in the Pacific Northwest. I am hope I'm their biggest asset and I hope they're an asset for me um, because I don't want to lose business because, um, because I don't have what a particular student needs. If I'm not running a class and I'm networked with um, you know, Astoria Scuba, I can send them and they're running it, I can send them there. You know, so if we all understand where our own, all our own best assets, then we're going to keep um, building the Nawi family and keep new students within the Nawi family and not drive them somewhere else. So, so if, if there's not an instructor trainer or an instructor candidate, um, there, there are, if you look around and that, that it would be more than happy. And in fact, I would challenge uh, more, more instructor uh, trainers or course directors to become more active as such and to join these bigger ITCs that we're trying to run in different areas of the US and, and share that wealth of knowledge. So, so networking, it's all about networking. Yeah. And, and across, the, across the world as well. Again, Rod, yeah. bring, Rod brings his area of US, but take that same thought and think, what about Canada? What about Korea? What about uh, yes. Germany? Uh, what about, yeah. And it's the same thing. There's guys all over the place and got ladies that, that'll be happy to help out, right? So it, it's a great idea. So um, anyway. I mean, as we start looking at that, and then that leads right into the next thing, you'd almost think we planned it, Rod. Um, what if we're in the middle of this winter 
And in my area, I'm locked down. I can't travel anywhere. Well, how can Bill help me? Or how can I bring an in income? Or how can I whatever? We're Right now, we're all on Zoom. There's all kinds of these type of apps, uh, you know, the Google Classroom, there's Microsoft Teams, Join Me. There's all kinds of these platforms. Can I use them somehow in running an, an, an instructor program, Rod? I, I um, I've dabbled with it this year just with some of my, my regular introductory classes. And then, of course, I'm teaching um, all of my other, all of my science classes that I teach. I'm teaching using, using the Zoom type interface. And, and I think that from an ITC standpoint, um, I, have, I have a friend that says the, the genie's out of the bottle now as far as any kind of business. Um, this, this is here to stay. What, what we're looking, what we're doing right now is here to stay because there are so many strengths in being able to reach across the United States, reach across the world to areas of expertise, to bring them together, to prep our students, to get uh, you know, people that we ordinarily wouldn't be able to have as a guest speaker be part of that program. Um, the, the, I, the, the instructor courses um, will obviously, because of their hands-on component and the need to do in-person instruction, will never be replaced um, by a Zoom or other, other interface like that. But in reaching out to meet your students from, you know, across the country, that will be attending your ITC and prepping them for homework and doing the icebreakers and, and all of the things associated with it to build that class inertia so that when we all do show up on site, we all know each other, the inertia is running, there's homework done, um, and we're, we're already excited and enthused. There's no awkward, slow startup. So yes, it's here. Absolutely. I mean, Hang Go ahead, Angela. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, and that's one of the things that I, you know, what I, I made a presentation uh, several months back, and in the in that presentation, we talked about how business owners, or how American businesses are, um, or even businesses worldwide, you know, out of COVID, great things will come out of COVID, and I think that this is an opportunity um, to explore things that we've never done before, you know, the way we've presented classes, the way we've taught classes, you know, I give a lot of credit to the educational system across the United States, maybe even potentially across the world, that these guys were, you know, making presentations on a daily basis, you know, in classrooms, and then on the flick of a switch, they were vert, they had to go virtual. So I give a lot of credit to a lot of teachers out there who were able to make that adjustment on the fly. And just like that, you know, as scuba instructors, we need to become more technologically savvy on, yes, I can't present the class the same way that I presented it this way. I have to look at alternatives. So that's a great, uh, a, that's a great, um, just assessment that you said right there, how, you know, you're bringing people's attention to that. There's a lot of other courses that are out there. In addition to instructor level leadership courses, there are other courses out there that can be taught via Zoom that don't require water work or don't require any type of in-person meeting that we can get better at utilizing through technology. Is that, is that, an, is that an accurate assessment you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I have been teaching, um, you know, my academic pieces. I, the, the teacher in me, I always do a lot of academic uh, time with all of my students. And I've been able to schedule everything from one-on-one -on -one meetings to with, with a student that doesn't understand the gas laws or dive tables well enough. I've been able to, you know, really interact with them much easier now because of this. Um, with diagrams, with presentations that you can, uh, it's, it's, a remarkable tool that I, that there was a learning curve uh, as a public high school science teacher where at a flick of a switch, we were, we were virtual, um, but the rewards and the benefits from figuring this out, uh, I can't tell you, um, will, will help your business. I mean, I think that, and I got to encourage everyone because I know there's a mindset out there that, you know, we, you know, you've done things for so long a certain way and it has to be done that way. And I, I strongly encourage everyone um, who is listening 
to have that entrepreneurial spirit and to venture outside your comfort zones because this whole COVID thing, this whole dynamic that we're facing right now, it's going to be with us for a while. So we're not going to have the luxury of going, you know, hey man, next week, I'm, it's back to normal for us. It's going to be a while. If you listen to all the reports and the way things are flaring up and this and that, I mean, so the things that we you have to look at is control the controllables and what can I control today and how can I control the things that I'm doing and not worry about all the other dynamics that are going on around you, but control what you can control. And that's the biggest takeaway that I keep promoting and I keep talking to people is your effort and your attitude. And that's pretty much where we're heading. Yep. Now, Rod, um, in my email out to everybody, I said we'd address the dive master promotion too, which one would probably go, well, why would this tie in in any way, shape or form with an ITC? Now, I'm going to suggest something here and I just want your spin on it. Um, I have a dive master and I talked to earlier in the year and he's at a very remote spot and there is nobody nearby him. Um, but the, you potentially could have a dive master in an area that is, uh, there's nobody that really wants to move anybody up to instructor. That, of course, that's a terrible thing, but it can happen, right? So dive masters could be moving into the ITC program, and there's a promotion for getting people up to dive master. One of the things I do when I run an instructor uh, program of any kind, I make sure I try to bring in people that are advanced, rescue, dive master, master diver, all those roles, right? So there's a, a dive master promotion on right now. And again, dive master can be done a lot of it on Zoom. It's certainly not all of it. Um, the water skills are, there's no discussion. That's got to be touched. You got to touch the water in person with us. But um, long-winded setup for short question. How can we tie a dive master promotion in as, as well as tie in the ITC in and get people working together and create programs that we can run in and bring in dollars this month january to a shop sure well i, I think um a couple of thoughts come to mind uh obviously dive master is the beginning of the leadership series and it's all about um learning how to teach at that point and i think there is a lot of uh good pedagogical instruction that can occur through communications between people via zoom so um, I would uh, definitely be taking advantage, and I have personally been taking advantage of bringing more people in, using, using the, the downtime, the winter months, and the pandemic to meet with them, to counsel them, to teach them about teaching, and get them inspired to uh, jump on and become NAWI members as dive masters. Awesome. Great approach. Yeah, no, I it, it, and I knew you'd say that. I, I didn't have to ask you ahead of time. I, I just knew you'd come out that direction. Uh, it, it's it's the way we want to do it. And I and I think right now is a great opportunity. Um, I've got a young fella that we're just finishing up Master Diver. Did all the wet skills before we went into lockdown. We've done as much of the possible. He's got a little bit more e-learning. I can do some more lecturing. Uh, I'm absolutely going to start a Dive Master program with him. 100%. Yep. He will be registered sometime in January as we, as we wrap up the other. Um, certainly won't finish it until we're out of lockdown because we're literally in lockdown where I live up in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. But uh, yeah, I think that tying in the Dive Master program, I personally, and it's my own personal opinion, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Rod and Angela nodding their heads. When I, I, the best instructors I see out there use their Dive Masters, bring them oh, up the pipe. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. So how can we tie a dive master promotion into bringing in some income in January? Pretty obvious, right? It so, is. And that's a, and I just want to add with what you just said right there, Bill. So several weeks back, we had a conversation with David Winford about improving, you know, the profit in your stores and things of that nature. And one of the things we had one participant out of, I think we had 175 viewers on the call that day. We had one, one affiliate, one store member that contacted David Winford and they started working together. And one of the things that they did that a lot of us become negligent on is that they went and dove back into that existing dealer base, that existing, you know, that, ex that existing data bank that they have within the store. And we have a tendency if it's what's, you know, as store owners and as instructors, we see what's in front of us now. 
but because out of sight, out of mind, you may not have heard from a customer or a potential student from three, four years ago. So take this opportunity to dive back into your database, into your into your, all your dealer base, and go look for that advanced student, that rescue, that master scuba diver. Go look for old potential customers who, for whatever reason, dropped out six, seven years ago. We don't know why. Maybe it was time to start a family, but now they're free again. Or maybe they were going to school and, you know, classes got in the way or something to that effect. But now is an opportunity. Take this down, Tom, as like you guys are saying, to go back into your data banks, into your dealer bases and look and start combing through and just reaching out to old potential customers via an email, via maybe a card, via some type of a contact. And you'll be surprised that if you have a thousand dealers or a thousand customers in your data bank and you were able to get 10 percent of them to re-engage you're looking at 100 people if you look if you have 3,000 people in your dealer base now you're looking at even if you get 10 percent to re-engage or even five percent you're talking about 150 to 200 people who are re-engaging into your business correct anything to add to that uh, ron I mean, there's, there's so much you could, right? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I definitely keep lists of other students and, and I've, been, I've been using the computer and the, and the online communication um, with, with a, a, a good bit of success, reaching back out. Um, it's easy to do. And, and I agree with Angelo 100%. You can, you can pull them right back in. Yeah. It's, and, a, um, low, it's a low risk, high reward. You know, yep. there's not a lot of marketing dollars involved in that. Yeah, agreed. It, you know, if you sign up two people to do an instructor course, you need to buy two kits. They're digital. Your outlay ahead of time is zero. Your outlay after you got the cash, you keep the difference. And you can even afford to finance it for them or whatever the case happens to be. It's income, income now, January income, yeah, right? Yeah. I need to pay my now fees. I need to pay the heat and hydro. I need to pay bring in the cash and um, we'll come back to some ITC stuff as well, Rod. Um, I'm going to segue into the digital card because it ties in perfectly here. You'd almost think we planned it. <laughs> Anyways, um, again, using uh, the comments from David Winford a few weeks back on, uh, or I should say a month and a half ago now on one of our other sessions, it's building the business and adding to the value added. It, and I won't repeat it because Angelo just perfectly said it. Look at digital cards. Just look at a digital card scenario. As an instructor, I must keep my records for seven years. We all have our records. Some jurisdictions may require longer, but we have our records. Literally go to the boxes and start clicking through and talk to people. Now, digital cards, traditionally, everybody got a plastic card. That's the good old ways. A lot of us still want our plastic card, and that's okay. You can get a digital card nowadays. You can get a plastic card nowadays. You could get both. Now on our digital app, if they've never had a digital card, it's not gonna show up. It's as simple as that. How, how come I, again, we covered the app of, uh, the last session. Why does my cert cards not show up? It's because you don't have a digital card. You need to have that. Well, there's a, actually was a promotion in place. People could take advantage of it. You now, one of the opportunities we can have as a store, as an independent instructor, as a professional educator, as a club, you can literally go through your records and say, okay, I need to bring in $200 this month. How could I bring in $200? Well, look at the cards, get people to upgrade to the digital card. Well, why would I have a digital card? It shows up on the app and it's cool and flashy. Well, that's one nice reason. And there's nothing wrong with that. When you go away somewhere, we always bring our log books. Well, one in case you don't have your log book with your cert cards, it would be on your phone. Very few people don't travel without their cell phone or tablet or anything nowadays. So you'll have a copy there. The digital card can show up on by logging into various media formats. So by having your digital cards, there's a lot of advantages to it. Oh, I lost my card. You can't. You can't. It's part of the app. I could log on. I could be in, I don't know where you are, Angelo, right now. If you're at home, if you're on the East Coast, New Jersey area. New and, Jersey. And if I was at your house and had no media, I could actually log into my digital app using Angelo's phone and I'd be able to show my qualifications that's really cool what an advantage that is but again i want to you know i don't want to preach to the choir a lot of people know the advantages of digital card just want to throw a few out but this very much comes from david winford it just 
different words. What if I needed to pay my hydro bill, my power bill, my water, my electric? In, in Ontario, we call electricity hydro because it, yeah, long story short answer, same thing. So I need to pay my electrical bill and it's $200. How could I do that? These are tough times. I could go through my records. And what if, okay, if you, uh, we're going to review the promotions in a bit, but the spread is about $4 from the, from what they were buying it direct or if you are. $4 United, US dollars, okay? Well, what if I can make $4 per card? I went through my records and only found 10 of my divers who I could get to upgrade and get five of their cards on. Well, what five cards would they want? Hmm. Open water, advanced, rescue, master diver, and nitrox, or maybe some other specialties, right? Let's say there's 10 people who, up, who got five digital cards and I made $4 each. Well, the math is pretty simple there. That's $200, $200, just 10 divers getting five upgrades. Well, what if I have to make my, I need $500. Well, again, $4, $25, five cards a piece, $500. You don't, we're not looking to sell a thousand dollars, look to create a thousand by, you know, people say, well, I'll never have a million dollars in the bank. Well, you're right. But if you want to save $10 at a time, next thing you know, you have 10,000, 100,000, then a million. And I know that sounds silly and we've heard things like that, but they're true. They're, some of these stories are there because they're absolutely true. So I, I was looking at the digital card format, like we should be inundated as shops right now, people wanting to do that. And if we're not, we should be making them call us. Just go out and call, you know, get them all excited about download the, di the Naui app. Look at your digital card. Oh, you don't have any. Oh, shocking, Rod. What can I get? Would you like to show your Nitrox card on there? And again, you could even tie it in if you're a store or you're associated with a store. An independent instructor should always be working with the store because there's extra income you can make that way. Give them a coupon for a course. Give them a coupon for uh, a piece of gear that's in stock that you want to liquidate, right? So there's all kinds of tie-ins where you could actually increase your sales, not just bring in that 200 or whatever dollars you need, but capitalize on the fact, well, those masks are going to start going yellow in the skirt if I don't get them off the shelf. They've been sitting there a year and a bit because it's been a rough year in 19, 2019, right? So there's an opportunity, maybe clear some masks. Well, it was $10 coupon off a mask if you order five digital cards. So you made five times four is $20 from that person. You cleared a mask off the rack and maybe you cleared even with after the discount another 40 you made 80 dollars off one person so again sometimes in membership organizations people say oh we don't want to talk about money well you need money to pay your insurance and to pay the electricity etc cetera, etc cetera. and whether we're talking any of these promotions the key is, is we want to pull them together we have several promotions at naui right now and before I, I'm not, I'm not going to go into great detail because what I'm going to promise everybody is we will email them out again. They were emailed out, and sometimes we miss them because we're humans and I get we get inundated with emails. But look for this email. Look for the details on the current promotion. I'm going to go in in just the order that they're in front of me on the sheet that I got from customer or from member services from Beth. The instructor crossover. The candidate receives of all these extra things with a special price digital activation code, their licensing for their core programs to teach. That's the 96,000 LIC. They receive five codes for courses, which I think is great. There's nothing better than you finish a course, becoming an instructor, you've already got five digital NES kits ready to sell. I know no money out, I just need to sign people up to take courses. That's huge. It's not small, it's huge. Right out of the gate, you have courses that you can teach with no, mo no more money out. So there's a lot of things that are included in those. The Dive Master one, again, you, you, they get your licensing. You get some codes. Again, if we can get a Dive Master to know, you can say, well, a Dive Master can't teach an open water course. Why would you give them an NES code? Because the Dive Master is working with an instructor. Now, boy, wouldn't you like a dive master who brings you five courses you can teach without laying out cash? 
anybody who's stepping up the dive master, chances are they have friends. Unless there's somebody like Rod. We all have friends, right, Rod? <laughs> Even Rod has two. <laughs> but uh, no, we all have friends. We say, oh, I'm becoming a dive master, this and that. I'm helping out on some courses. And whether they pay full price or you give them a little bit of a discount or you talk to instructors and say, hey, I got these five course kits. They're worth X dollars. Can we knock something off? That's between you and the instructor, right? But you look, it's right there in the email that's going to go out is right there in the email that went, I'm just going to send one out that went out already, just to kind of put a little bit of magic on top, a little bit of icing, but it's right there. The dive master promotion, the candidate upon completion, once you're a dive master, receives five codes from a combination of those same courses, open water, advanced, nitrox, you can get five codes. That's that's value added to bring to any dive shop that you're working with. Any I mean, I mean, but it, it's a value, but also it's an opportunity that people don't understand that, you know, it's the same way that when we had, you know, our renewals, okay, that you you paid you you paid for your renewal. It was the greatest one that was out there, whereas they were able to go ahead and discount to 185 to 175. And then you picked up, you know, they gave you an opportunity to purchase an NES code, and then there were two codes given to you free. You know, if you just sold those codes, you recouped plus made your membership fee back. In addition to this, what you're saying right here, what you guys are talking about, yes, you outlay cash for your instructor crossover, your instructor course, whatever it is, but you are given five free codes up front that you can now sell and recoup all that money. And that's the super thing about it is that, you know, is that you just have to, to get you going. So. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. And and again, looking at running, I and mean, I'm going to set Rod up here, just so you people know, I've not asked him this question. I'm setting him up. Rod, you're trying to run an ITC. You need to make a few, you, know, you say you have rent to pay. I don't know your situation, but you've got rent to pay. You've got rented space for your scuba uh, enterprise. You've got uh, utilities to pay. You've got your dowie fees to pay. What an opportunity to tie this together. Let's contact the people that I in my list to get them to get some digital cards. Convince a few people to move up to Master Diver, or even if they're working on, now, and I did say Master Diver, right? Get them working on Master Diver. Get them working on Rescue Diver. Oh, maybe you can get working on Dive Master. And you get a few instructor court people out of it just by calling the database. I don't need 400 people here. If I can get 10 people to buy four digital, uh, five digital cards each at $4 for an extra money, I've made 200 bucks. If I get a dive master and an instructor in there, I now could run all these courses and run it together, work with people together, build my enterprise up. So I'm coming into the gate strong next year. All of these people are paying for a course. People are bored in my area. We have snow here now. <laughs> yeah, um, you can tell what I think, but you can't buy cross country skis. I mean, the downhill resorts are closed. Pools are closed. Hockey rinks are closed. What's open? Cross country skiing. Well, maybe you're an old fart like me with bad knees and you just can't go and cross country ski. Boy, maybe I'd like to take a scuba course. All of these people are gonna pay for these things. You're paying your rent for January, probably into February already. And the beauty is as you finish these people up in March or April or whatever your area does, you think you could make more money in June when they you all of a sudden get all these NES kits? Yeah. That's kind of a what you call leading question, isn't leading. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's an opportunity, right? I mean, throw something out on that, Rod. Yeah, well, I've I've had a lot of luck um, since lockdown. We're on pretty good lockdown up here too. Uh, a, a lot of luck getting selling these selling these courses selling the dual courses you know you you got time to do one let's do nitrox with that let's let's bump you up now now is the time to get this work in so you're ready to hit the road as soon as these pools open up or as soon as we can uh congregate in in groups larger than five um and and it's it's built momentum i i have my my uh my class sales have not suffered um i just have a, a large backlog we need to get to open water with <laughs> What do you, what do you find, Angela? 
you know, like I said, man, it's we've entered a phase where, you know, it's always about being radically creative, innovative and dynamic. And that's and that's what we're seeing across the United States right now is that stores and across the world, stores that are innovative and dynamic, people who are innovative and dynamic, radically creative are making this adjustment. Um, you know, one of the other things, so it's just, but that's, you know, that's just, you know, there's a theory there. So, I mean, hopefully that it's, these are the messages that we're trying to promote out there about the, uh, about, you know, to survive, you know, uh, to survive that, you know, yes, where there's a will, there always will be a way, um, you know, it's, it's the, it's the entrepreneurial spirit. So I just encourage everyone, you know, you know, my, uh, uh, my email is always available. My cell phone is readily accessible. I make myself very accessible for just bouncing ideas and questions. I encourage people to call. You know, I'm an asset and a resource available to you. Um, you know, I myself, you know, yes, I work at Naui headquarters. A lot of people know that I came from the military, um, but prior from my military to my transition into, uh, into Naui for 10 years, I used to own a store in Florida. And that store grew to two stores and a large charter boat operation. And it became the largest operation in North Florida. Um, those stores are still there today. I sold them almost 20 years ago. Um, but the thing that, you know, I can appreciate is that I, I empathize with every store owner and every affiliate that's on this call because I know what it's like to have to put a second mortgage on the house to pay for the inventory or if you may or if you screw up on over budgeting or something to that or you miss you 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 know you don't make an accurate purchase you know the the, the cost can be detriment to your business so um you know through all of that you know I, I i i'm very empathetic to you to the store owners and like i said you know i've been i'm an asset and a resource available um and that's why it's very important to understand these now talks that we're bringing things to everyone uh, to try to just get ideas during these trying times. Absolutely. Um, on Thursday, and today is Tuesday, on Thursday, we're gonna send out a newsletter. What we're, we promised to do is try to send out something right after every one of these talks with more information. So A, watch for it, B, read it, and C, share it. Um, now we is for now we members, but now is for diving. And I know I speak for Angelo and myself, and I hope for everybody that any of our Naui talks, we're thrilled when people come from any dive agency. You know, if diving thrives, we thrive. Exactly. And I believe we're the best, so we'll migrate our percentage anyways. But I'm, I'm happy, I mean, any dive store not surviving or any independent instructor not surviving the winter hurts all of us. So share it, please share, correct? Good. Bill, are we wrapping up? Because if we are wrapping yep. this up in a very quick, 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 just hit those three bullet points of what the promotions are. Because I know we kind of uh, we, we kind of had narratives all around them. Yep. Just hit those three bullet points. Okay. Promotion one, instructor crossovers, which you could run with an ITC or an ICC, right? Instructor crossover package. You, uh, by buying that package, there's for the use an instructor one. There's also an instructor trainer one. I've actually got two people to sign up for the instructor trainer one. It was a $400 package where it's normally considerably more. Um, again, pricing is up to you what you charge differently, but for the actual packet itself, it's uh, on special right now. And I'm running an, I, an instructor trainer program locally. I'm starting this month. Um, the instructor crossover one, I gave you the details of it. Um, the dive... Um, the student has completed open water dive master training and starting an instructor course, that's the ITC. We can work on that. Um, dive master program, we can work on that. Membership renewals, they, there's $10 off, which again, some people say it's only $10. Yeah, but $10 here and $10 there and $10 here all of a sudden becomes the thousand you're looking for, right? So there's little promotions right across the board. Um, there's also one that's uh, it's for the U.S. only right now because of just the logistics of shipping. So um, that went out as a separate email to any U.S. members. You would have seen it. And that's um, a Premier NES kit that you receive a logbook and a surface marker with saying NAWI on it. Um, for some of us, for shipping, it wouldn't have a lot of logistics. It's not that it's not available to everybody. It just doesn't work. But um, there's, a, there's a program that way as well. And I think down around the world, different service centers have their own ones as well. The main ones for now and worldwide would be instructor crossovers, 
instructor course, get your dive masters involved, better $10 off renewals, and then digital cards. And if you're worrying about how to pay for your any of those, get the digital card program going first. It's just money in the bank. Okay, without further ado, that's what I have. You've got anything to close off with, Angelo? No, I just want to yeah. thank Todd for taking the time, uh, just joining us, coming on board here, and um, just uh, just sharing his experiences. And it's much appreciated uh, for everything, that, all the input that he's put out here for us. And it's just a testament to his excellence. Yeah, anyway, that sounds great. I've just got a couple last questions I'm going to answer, and we'll make sure everybody gets answered. And thank you all again. Uh, Madison's always the one in the background doing the hard work where Angelo and I look good. And, we got Rod to make us look good today too. Thank you. And thanks everybody. Have a great day. Look forward to the email in the next talk. Bye now.